I'm playing a no time limit game against an anonymous opponent. We've stumbled upon this beautiful position, which I'd love to share with you. I was taught to play chess by my dad. I've never beaten him in a proper game. Speed chess I have, uh, but that doesn't really count. Although I strongly suspect he's going senile right about now, so I think I have my chance to take him down soon. Time is on my side. I'm playing as white. I'm a knight over a pawn up. Just moved my king to queen's bishop two. Something I would never normally do this early on in the game. And then it struck me how bizarrely crystalline this position is. The centre is totally bogged down. Anyone who tries to break it up looks like making sacrifices. The kings are castled off kilter. Some of each player's forces are seemingly now to be dedicated either exclusively to attack or defence. There is no middle ground to cross over. Chess is a mental game, so controlling your emotions is very important, especially when playing several games in a row. I was a kid when my dad taught me how to lose chess properly. Losing is a part of life. He never let me win a game. I was fuming inside after being taken apart time and again. After each loss came the post-mortem. He would reposition the pieces from a key stage in the game 20 minutes ago and go over mistakes I had made which pissed me off even more. I felt like storming off but I stayed partly due to me having learned some control over my anger when I was a bit younger but that's for another video. Anger makes you stupider. But I mainly stayed because of this phrase he said. You don't learn anything by winning. Very British thing to say. And maybe I'll have to do a video about winning to balance this one out. But it puts things in perspective. You don't learn anything by winning. Am I playing to win? Or am I playing to learn how to win? Does it matter if I lose? Well, not really. It's just a game of chess. Games where you can safely lose and learn are the best. If you're learning a martial art and you don't lose regularly during your training, I would question that training method. If you're a mountaineer, on the other hand, don't go and try and find a mountain to lose to. Don't lose at everything, obviously. But the opportunity to learn from losing to your betters should be grabbed with both hands. Your opinions, world view, philosophy, whatever you want to call it, there will be times when it is challenged. How should you respond? Should you defend your position? Should you attack your opponent's position? By all means, but if your opponent gets checkmate, don't keep playing. Don't keep attacking or defending. It's over. You lost. Admit that you lost. Don't let your ego fool you into thinking otherwise. Analyse why you lost. Change your worldview. Learn from it. Don't storm away from the game in a strop because you have anger issues. You are allowed to change your mind to the winning team. Philosophy is a game that requires a cool head. I love the phrase, regardez votre sang froid. A game is being played with no time limit. 